Sorry, there's a little bit of room for you there. Oh, hang on a second, guys. Coyote's calling. Actually, it's FaceTime. Mark, Mario, Trent, the three of you are going to be given the chance to compete in the greatest competition of all time. There's going to be fire. There's going to be Hershey's chocolate. All you need to do is follow the GPS coordinates tacked to this video message right now. And I will see all three of you very, very soon. This video is sponsored by Hershey's. <laughs> all right, I mean, I'm in. Are you guys in? Yeah, let's do it. Fire, Hershey's, let's do it. I'm always up for a challenge. Fire! What do you think we're walking into? We know there's Hershey's, we know there's fire. I'm automatically thinking s'mores. Like, we're making s'mores, but he was a little too excited for just cooking s'mores. There's something afoot. He's up to something. All right, guys, we made it. Let's go see what we got ourselves into. Gentlemen, welcome to the Hershey S'mores competition. Mark, you look like you're ready to roast some marshmallows. Mario, kind of looks like you showed up for the wrong competition. The only thing you're going to be catching tonight is probably some delicious s'mores. And Trent, good looking beard, but I have a feeling that by the end of the night, that thing is going to be sticky with marshmallows. Before we get started, first, let's take a look at our ingredients. Marshmallows, graham cracker, Hershey's milk chocolate. Now if you choose to not just use the classic 1894 edition, you can also get into some of the other elaborate flavors. Now you could put it together just graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate, but if you want to get wild, you got to use the toppings. We've got cherries, we've got honey, and then of course, we've got peanut butter. Now, my watch will time you out, and you have an exact 30 minute window to make the world's best s'more. In my pocket here, I have the s'more scores. There are four main points to which we will be gauging the quality of your s'mores. Technique, presentation, taste, and then of course, last but not least, bravery and wildness, because what fun is making s'mores unless you're gonna be brave about it and get a little wild. Let's start the clocks. The fire ring is yours. First thing I want to do is take a look at the ingredients. Grams look good. Now, the trick is you want to use the underside. The outside is actually a little bit softer, better to bite into. Hey, what's going on over here? Getting my stuff, man. He's just coming in my kitchen over here. All right. Coyote is, he's an outdoor guy. So I'm going to try to do an adventure themed, animal themed s'more. Not sure how that's going to go, but we're going to try. Here's one of the things about these marshmallows. A lot of people are drawn to the large marshmallow when in fact the smaller ones are tastier because they get a little bit more char, they cook a little bit more perfect than the bigger cousins. So we're definitely going to go with a double of the smaller marshmallows today. And I think I am going to go with a special version of the Hershey's chocolate bar. I'm going to go with the cookies and cream. I am going to use a gigantic marshmallow because I'm going to cut out the center of it and insert two cherries on the inside. We're going to stick peanut butter in to seal off the marshmallow so the maraschino cherries don't fall out. Then I'm going to take it and hold it over the fire, slow roast it, and then right when it's about warm, boom, sear it. The guys are officially starting the creation of their s'mores. I've given a look at everybody's technique. Trent's is interesting, although I don't think he's thinking about the fact that as soon as that peanut butter gets hot, it's gonna melt and that cherry is probably going to fall out. Mario, I feel like he's just thinking about catching snakes or something because he keeps burning marshmallows left and right. Now when it comes to Mark's technique, I like what I see. He's using the titanium skewer to cook two marshmallows at exactly the same time, which gives him double the opportunity to make the perfect marshmallow to put in between his cookies and cream chocolate. Perfect. 
got the charred ends outside. Then you've got that soft, gooey one inside. This is definitely too much for one person, but that's okay. I built this so you can share with your friends. Coyote could pick one person out of the group to share it with. Hopefully it's me, because it looks delicious. All right, next step, my secret ingredients. Creating a whole ecosystem in the s'mores. You know what that smell is? S'mores. The light is getting low in the sky, which means that we're coming to a close with the ultimate s'mores competition. Who's gonna win the grand prize? Will it be Mark with his perfect technique? Will it be Trent with his cherry stuffed s'more? Or will it be Mario with the massive super gram ultimate Hershey's chocolate s'more? Let's head back over to the fire ring and see how these s'mores have stacked up. Now when I think about s'mores and I dive all the way back to childhood, I'm all about getting those fingers sticky. It's not a s'more if it's not sticky. So I think I'm gonna actually start with Trent. I considered him the underdog. I also thought that he would be covered in marshmallow by the time this competition came to a close. But thus far, he appears to be free of marshmallows and in turn, free of ants. So here we go, Trent. Mm. The sticky satisfaction is something to write home about. This is the kind of s'more that I would share with my friends, maybe even my family. Wow. I'll tell you what I didn't get a bite of. The maraschino cherry. A jumbo marshmallow plus peanut butter plus a cherry makes it hard to enjoy it all in one bite. Something to take into consideration upon final judging. I don't even know what to say about this creation. This looks like a dangerous s'more to pick up. Oh, this is a mess. We've got burnt marshmallows. It's all falling apart. Definitely shareable, but when it comes to a single serving, this is definitely one that poses an extreme challenge. What I'm gonna have to do, Mario, I'm gonna have to take a combination of all things at once. Patient marshmallow, a little bit of chocolate, a cherry, and top it off with a bite of graham cracker. The taste, complicated. I got a lot going on here. I can't really tell if this is a s'more or if this is an ice cream bug covered sundae. Let me wipe the stickiness from my face because this, that is what the perfect Hershey's s'more should look like. But how will it size up when it comes to Trent's with the taste test? Here we go. The crunch. The marshmallow. The cookies and cream makes it a little dry. But that is a s'more right there, and it is D delicious. I must say, gentlemen, a round of marshmallow sticky claps. When it comes to the type of s'mores that I would be comfortable sharing with my friends, my family, these all hit the mark perfectly. So I am proud to announce that our winner of the grand prize in the Hershey's Ultimate S'mores Competition will be Mark. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Told you traditional would win. All right. Congratulations, Mark. You have won the grand prize, a five pound Hershey's Chocolate bar. Is this real? That is as real as it gets. Oh my goodness. A big thanks to Hershey's for sponsoring this video. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Pick up s'mores ingredients this summer. We'll see you on the next location. Hey Coyote, we have more ingredients. You guys want to make some more s'mores? Let's yeah. make some s'mores.